What's going on guys, I'm back to do another video, and listen, I'm going to be showing how to make your remake Popeyes. Now I will be showing you how to make an interior for this as per usual. Probably the, oh no, that's not right. Probably the 23rd, that is, I think that'd be correct. Uh, I forgot days of the week and stuff, that's kind of important stuff, I don't know. But uh, here it is in all of its glory or not glory or whatever else you might think of it. Um... Air is your inside space. It's a little bit weird, and I'll talk about it later. It's kind of like, it's not proportion, right? It should be, sh like, thinner. As here's the old one, by the way, just for reference. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so these space you're going to be needing for this is a 38 by 32, and the materials you're going to need, I think, to start, yeah, it's definitely more than nine to start off, are... Spurs with blanks, considering uh, just the letters take up a third of my inventory, and I can see more than three materials directly on the screen right now. Uh, black stained glass panes. Nether brick wall. Could go red nether brick wall. Could go polished black stone brick. Could go polished black stone. Could even go deep slate. Or pol deep slate brick or polished deep slate. Or deep slate tile. Not Probably not cobbled deep slate. Wouldn't recommend it. I mean, you could. Uh, stone bricks. Acacia doors. Ooh, this is gonna be not a fun amount of materials. Brick block. Smooth quartz block. And I guess we'll go red concrete. And we need... Okay, so here's... This is my struggles. I think I'm just gonna leave it at 8. Because you also need... I think it's all... I believe all else that you need is polished blackstone brick stairs, polished blackstone brick blocks... And your three acacia variants of planks, woods, and planks, slabs, and stairs. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Um, acacia planks. I should have said. I should have said all the three acacia plank variants, but whatever. That doesn't still make sense. So I'm just gonna leave it because uh, getting one of them is kind of pointless because we need them all pretty much in succession. Starting from the front right hand corner of your 38 by 32 grid cough carving I mean, If you want to flip the build, you can, or just Pretend like it doesn't matter and start the front left-hand corner because you're a savage. Uh, what you want to do is you want to count left by six. Just want to make sure I have the number right. And back by one and going left, you want to place 24 spruce wood planks. Two dozen. There you go. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to go left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter and you want to place let's see if I can get this right here spruce wood plank seven black stained glass panes nether brick wall six black stained glass panes the dreaded two block center nether brick wall oh wait that seven black stained glass panes and a spruce wood plank and then you're gonna want to copy that row two more times. I'm gonna turn down my volume because I'm probably gonna get a couple of notifications and it's kind of really like extremely loud. Uh, I was dumb and I was like, wait, because I was thinking, because I was trying like, I literally tried so many different patterns and I couldn't get one right. And this one kind of sort of worked half for the windows. And I just realized that, right, because it has a two block center, it can't have a, it can't be one block. What, or the, no, it should be. Okay, never mind. I'm dumb. Don't listen to anything I'm saying. There they are. There's the notifications I was talking about. You can't see them. You might be able to... No, you probably can't hear my phone vibrating. Then what you're going to want to do is... This is a little bit... Eh, sort of weird. You want to place a row of red concrete on top of that. Now, that's not the weird part. Actually, the weird part, we're not going to... No, do worry about it. You want to take that row of red concrete. You want to extend it left and right by one each. Seems a little strange, okay, because, you know, normally we do a forward as well, which we'll do that later. You then want to place five rows of smooth quartz blocks on top of that row of red concrete. And it, you do want to make sure that your smooth quartz does, in fact, go one block over the spruce on either side. I had to try and make the build small in any way, smaller in any way that I could at the base, and this was the one of them that I decided. So, um, if you don't particularly care you can extend it out i wouldn't actually recommend it i it's really weird numbers going on but it was it was not fun for me to try and figure that stuff out but uh hence we got it really it's because it's just i don't know how to explain it but like i had it too like it looked too wide and i tried to narrow it down and then look too thin so i kind of like mixed and matched 
Uh, th this one was a pain to me. <laughs> but, uh, I, I got there, sort of. Uh, I've, I had a couple different ideas that I was thinking about doing, but, uh, one of them I still gotta look back at, because the letters are way too big for the building, considering what the building is, and that it's typically small, though I haven't, I don't actually know, because I don't think I have one near me. Actually, no, I might. I probably do, and I just don't know that it's there. Anyways, you want to take the left and the right far rows of your build, and you want to extend them back by two, so every single, so the far, spruce or planks, red concrete, and smooth quartz blocks. And then we're going to do the step that I was considering implementing into the um, red concrete step, but I kind of was like, nope, that's dumb, so I decided to just forget about it and do it a smarter way. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to extend that red concrete out on out on each side by one. So literally the left, front, and right. Don't worry about the back, obviously, because the inner side is like the inside of the build, and that's not really what we're trying to do here. Although consider that. I do want to say consider that. Uh, with how we've been doing those recently, like, looking at, what was the thing that I just did, Wingstop, uh, was the thing that I did, Baskin Robbins, I think that sounds right. Uh, so you can go to the left or the right side now, uh, I'm going to go to the left, the sides are different, so keep that in mind, um, doesn't matter which side is which though, because it's gonna end up basically exactly, the shut up, it's gonna end up basically exactly, you know, I'm muting my phone again, and I don't wanna hear it. You want to take this back far left thing, spruce with plank here, and you want to bring it back to diagonally to the left of the stone brick. Bring it left by two, and then back by a number that I'm not actually sure of. Oh, goodness. Nine, I think. Wow, I was right. Would you look at the I could have just... I'm dumb. Okay. I could have, like, mathed that out very easily. Math? Sure. Then what you want to do is now you have an L, which uh, is kind of funny because that's what I just took by not figuring that one out. Uh, you want to take the front three stone bricks here, these ones, and you want to place a smooth quartz block on top of each one. And you want to go back on the left and place one additional smooth quartz, six black stained glass panes, and two smooth, smooth quartz blocks. Goodness. Um, that will now forever be ingrained in my brain because I'm dumb and I want to make sure that I don't mess up with that stuff again. You want to copy that row two more times. I have a fancy L, sort of. Not really fancy. The, not fancy isn't necessarily the word we're looking for here. There you go. Yeah, that's not really fancy. It looks like someone tried to rip the. Uh, I don't know. It's like it looks like the the pains of the endoskeleton. I don't know. I'm like FNAF mood? Question mark. Uh, I was gonna say do something, but we're not gonna do it. I'm gonna pretend like we're not supposed to do it, so it doesn't happen. You want to take this back stone brick block, and you want to bring it back diagonally to the left of the brick block, and then bring that brick block left with two acacia doors. I would place them on the inside of this, in line with the uh, brick block, except with the front side. So it gives you a little bit of an indentation. You can, I would also recommend doing this on the right side. I didn't actually do it on the right side. Yeah, there's doors on the right, too, in case you asked. Um, you could remove one of the doors. If you're going to remove either of them, I would recommend removing the right side. But I would keep it on both. I would. That seems to be a standard thing for fast food restaurants. Occasionally, actually, was it a Popeyes that I was? I, no, I don't think it was a Popeyes. I forget what it was. Was it? It might have been that had was like exactly like this. There was like a door like this, except it was on the right side, and there's a normal standard. No, both because both. Never mind. Both doors I think have a similar thing. I don't know. I don't go to fast food restaurants that often. It's the we're in the middle of a pandemic, so. You want to bring that vacation door left of the brick block, and then bring that brick block back by a number that I also can't remember. It's seven, I think. That's embarrassing. It's six. <laughs> so, you should have a total row of seven, is what I was totally saying. Totally meant to say. 100%. Discord popping off. I checked to see what it was, because I, no, I assumed that I had a notification, which I did. Bring that back left brick block right by three. So you should notice there's five in here. Good job. You can, or I can do math, I guess. You didn't do, I mean, maybe you did. That's not even math. I'm just counting. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you want to go in the same fashion on top of the brick with more brick. And you want to place a brick block to the, or should be to the right of the doors. Brick, bo brick block to the left of the doors. English isn't nice to, to, nice to me today. Back with two black stained glass pins. Brick block. Two black stained glass panes, brick block, and then right with three brick blocks. You could also add another window in the middle there if you wanted. Or a door. Door might be a possibility. Hmm. Should have considered that. Because if you have these types of setups, you're usually going to have two doors. Usually. At least, again, from my experience. But I don't... I literally... The last time I recall 
being in a fast food restaurant was in July of last year. End of July. Actually, yeah, July 31st was the last time I can clearly recall. I've d No, I have been in one since then. I don't remember what the doors were. But it was like a, it was an old fashioned looking thing. I don't know. Uh, what you want to do is you don't want to copy that row two more times, except place brick blocks on top of the acacia door. Sorry, I'm sort of rambling in this video. It just kind of happens from time to time. Some days I'm like really talkative. Some days I don't want to say a single word, which it's fair. At least to me. Maybe you don't think it's fair. I don't know. You then want to place two additional rows of brick on top of all of that. I'm going to try to move this along and stop rambling about doors because doors are not that important. I mean, you could technically jump through a window if you needed to. Uh, that'd be a very, very inconvenient way of transportation, but it's possible. Uh, you want to... Oopsies. You want to come to the back of this brick section thingy, and you want to go back diagonally to the right from it with a stone brick. Bring said stone brick back by 8. And then right by 11. I don't know why I said that so weird. So it's a total of 12 along the back and 9 at the side, in case anyone asked. Which no one probably did, but it's important. You then want to place three rows of smooth quartz blocks on top of that. I just kind of realized something that's dumb, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. Just, just remember that I'm, re re just remember that I'm realizing something dumb. So when I bring up said dumb thing, you are prepared. I don't know. So, of what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come to the back and we're gonna orient ourselves as if we are at the front. So the smooth quartz wall is the right side now for me, and the side with absolutely nothing is the left side. Which, uh, from the front, it would be vice versa. So the open would be the right, and the filled would be the left, essentially. You want to take this stone brick, and you want to go towards you and diagonally to the left with a brick block. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna flip my forward backward forward and backwards as well, so they are oriented to me. So forward diagonally to the left by one from this block would be here, just just for reference. And then back diagonally to the right from that would be that stone brick. Just for reference again. You want to bring that brick block left by four. Back diagonally to the left of the stone brick. Left two. Forward diagonally to the left of the brick block. Left by four. Darn it, I knew we were missing something. You need a spruce door, I'm sorry. Uh, then go back diagonally to the left of the stone brick. Bring it left by two. I'll give you a second, because the next thing you want to place is a spruce door. Stone brick, and then move f towards the front, actual front of the build by three with stone bricks. Just like that. All nice and fancy, or not really fancy, it's just very um, modern-ish, sort of, not entirely. You want to place three rows of smooth quartz blocks on top of these stone bricks, and you can just place two um, smooth quartz blocks on top of the spruce door. And then everything else will just look like the, that, ever, whatever. Uh, so, what you're going to want to do is you want to go left to right or right to left on top of either brick section, respectively. It uh, doesn't matter the direction. And you want to place a brick block, black stained glass pane, you have a one block gap, black stained glass pane, and a brick block and then you want to do that on both i'm trying to like again talk talking loudly it just happens can't can't control it. i mean i can control it if i try but i can't really try so uh you want to copy that row one more time it's like it's it's a thing that i do i'm gonna tr i'm gonna see if I, I like when i catch it i try to like lower it a little bit but it's just, i don't know it's it's been too many tutorials where i do this and it just it, it doesn't it doesn't function doesn't uh, do its thing in my brain. Although it is better to talk louder in case Minecraft audio is loud for whatever reason. You then want to place a row of brick on top of either uh, brick section, including over the gap. And that should give you this. So you'll notice we're only building up to one floor high, just because the second floor I don't really feel like doing right now, and it's not that hard. Yeah, I guess at least I'm honest with it. And then now what you're going to want to do is you want to come to the right side, and we're going to... Hmm... Okay, so we're going to make the back side the right and the front side the left. So you can see that's the left over there to my left. To the right is to my right is to, is the right side. If that makes sense. And then forward and backward. Backward is towards the left wall and forward is towards me. 
So from this um far from this kind of inner stone, I don't know how to describe this, but this stone brick right here, you can see it. It's at the right side, and it's the most left one on that right side. You want to go four diagonally to left with a brick block. It's tri it's really tripping me up in my brain. I'm sorry, the directions like don't make sense. And then move towards you with a brick block or forward, I guess. Left with seven, and then back with one. Go back diagonally to left with a stone brick. Again, still throwing me off. Left with a uh, stone brick, and then place two acacia doors. Again, you can do it preferably on the back side. I didn't actually do it on the back side on that build, but it's fine. And then from that door, you want to place moving forward ten stone bricks. I remembered it. And then go back with two. So that's going to give you this. You'll notice something. It's that uh, it's various things are very similar to that side, although the door is on the wall in the wall, and then this brick section exists. But it should connect diagonally up to the front, which is correct. The actual front, technically the left, from um, my technologicalness. What did I just say? Anyways, what you want to do is you want to place five rows of brick on top of the brick little um, underscore looking thing. It's going to make it two rows taller than the smooth quartz, which should be correct, yeah. It's like, it doesn't make quite enough sense, but it also does make sense. It's going to, because the brick is shorter by a row. I don't know why I did that specifically because of that side. I made that. I did, I think, I'm pretty sure what I did was I made the window and the door here, and then I went over to that side and went around and then stopped at, like, at the corner, and then I came back to this side. It's kind of dumb. Um, just, just because it's kind of easier to, like, understand how I want the proportions to work out in that, in that situation. So, yeah, just, 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 like, realize that that is a lot of walking. Uh, that's, I do just want to say that if anyone doesn't like this, I would be willing to remake this again. Say in May, we'll, we'll put it at, we'll put it at May. And I think maybe beginning of next year or middle of beginning of the beginning of next year or sometime in the last three or four months of this year i will be willing to do remakes of remakes i think i don't really like doing that i'm not gonna do it for a ton i'm not gonna abuse it like i'm abusing the remakes i want to remake a lot of different things because a lot of my old builds are garbage but most of the remakes i think i'm okay with and like i'm trying to hit a point where it's like okay a build has to be say a year old for me to remake it and I think remakes are going to fall under that um, guideline. Maybe I'll do a year and a half instead, just because, I don't know. But just keep that in mind that, like, this one I am going to give a little bit of an exception for, just because I do understand that it has a couple of quirks. Now, you could use the old one. The old one, if you like the old one better, the old one wasn't bad. I kind of want to do this for rem for the uh, inside and also for modernness. Anyways, going right to left on top of this row of stone brick or back to front of that, so you... Uh, uh, calculate things. You want to place two smooth quartz blocks. Skip over the doors. Two smooth quartz blocks. Six black stained glass panes. Two smooth quartz blocks, and then move, I guess, backward or left with two. You then want to copy that row two more times, and you want to place smooth quartz blocks above the doors. That was uh, interesting. A lot of interesting things happen when I record videos, it seems. Either my phone's blowing up, or people are dropping things, or my dogs are barking, or something. I don't know. Then what you're going to want to do is you want to... Okay, so this is going to sort of not make sense, possibly. On top of every single smooth quartz block and black stained glass pane, you want to place a red concrete. At the lower level, so like this level, you can see where this is. It's basically on top of these windows. Not on this section. This section's different and doesn't like that idea. So, we're going to let it live by that. And, um, also the brick blocks in line are at the same height as the smooth quartz that we are placing red concrete on top of. So, if that doesn't make sense, it's essentially going to give you this. I'll show you in a sec here. It's going to give you, from an overhead view, something very similar to this. So you can see those two higher brick blocks are going to be now one block taller than the red concrete, which is correct. You don't want to do anything with them. That upper row of smooth quartz, you can see at the bottom of my screen, that big underscore, that also is left alone. It's only that lower layer of blocks that we have to deal with. You could also do those spruce planks if you want to. Um, yeah, I'll do it, actually. I would just do it just for fun. These two, these four spruce planks, the two on either side, just to kind of make it a little bit, I don't know, not necessarily nicer, but just kind of cover that up because that might be important on the inside we'll see but uh i am not entirely sure how important it will be um 
I'd like to implement it like I have, again, as I mentioned earlier with Wings Off and the new Baskin Robbins. What you want to do is on top of that row of smooth chords, make sure you differentiate the ones directly on top of a block with the ones that are overhanging. That's going to be very important because you don't want to screw that up. I, that was probably dumb of me to already overhang and I should have just done it all at once. So that's my bad. But uh, what you want to do is on top of every single red concrete that is directly on top of a smooth chords block, black stained glass paint or brick block. You want to bring it up with two, no, yep, two smooth court. oh god, voice crack, or not voice crack, just voice dying, two smooth chords blocks. Now you're going to notice that they're going to, um, yeah, I tried to say overhang, but that's not the right word. They're going to stick up above the brick block by a row. You don't, you do not have to connect them. You can if you want. I think it is going to make it a little bit easier to comprehend if you do have them connected. So it is up to you. And then even on top of the brick block, smooth quartz thingy, or top of the red concrete that's on top of the brick, it is also going to be smooth quartz in line with it. Just kind of gives you a little bit more shape. What did I also do that on recently? It wasn't, it was was it Baskin Robbins? Is there Baskin Robbins or Dunkin' Donuts? I think. I don't know. They're all the same to me. It's like there's a point where it's like you've built so many things you don't know the difference between them. <laughs> I'm starting to get there. I mean, like, if you to if you like tell me a build of mine, I can for the most part like be like, yep, that's what that looks like. But there's certain like I can't like tell you every single side and how many blocks wide it is or something like that. No way. But uh, I can like you know think I can just picture the front of it in my head at least the front and maybe the inside if it has one or I can picture if it has an interior not in general that's also something. So trying to figure out what I want to do here. Okay, so you want to uh, ignore everything except for this top section here, this front one. So actually, yeah, come to the front. And do that. We're gonna do this real quick. You want to take the top two rows at the left and the right, and you want to bring them backward by twelve. You only have to do the top two rows. You can go lower if you want, and it doesn't really matter, but I wouldn't recommend it. This is a waste of your time. I mean, I guess you have nothing better to do, sure. If you have, like, a weird amount of time, you're like, yeah, this is going to take shorter than my time, and I have, like, a few more minutes, and sure, just do it. I don't know. Uh, but what you then want to do is you want to connect those back rows together. As you saw, I was kind of pointing out with my cursor without explaining it that's not like the smartest thing to do i do that sometimes i just like zone out and i'm talking about something and i forget to tell you the next step it's kind of funny when it happens though <laughs> then what you're gonna want to do is you want to take the red concrete that is not o being overhung by one and you want to overhang it on each side by one now what i would do with the back here is i would essentially um let me just like ignore it for a sec. I'm just gonna like you know pretend like it doesn't exist. Like yep yep 100% straight line right there. No you didn't see anything. So like you're gonna see how it connects to those corners there and stuff at the front. Uh, but at the back, what I would do is I would bring this row of smooth court. These three like the three smooth courts in between the two um drive-through windows. I just bring that red concrete out by one, and then pretend like that's where the wall is. So essentially it'll give you this. You can add a little divot there. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know which I like better. I might like it better with the... Here, let me actually show you. I can show you both. The the divot might actually look better. I don't know. It's up to you if you want the divot or not. Uh, a little block there. That's what I call a divot. I don't know. Is that the grammatically... I don't know. Grammar. Grammar is hard. But I, I just like that. And then that's going to be your structure done. Now we have the two worst parts, in my opinion. Not in my opinion. It's, just, it's a fact. Uh, what you want to do is clear inventory and get out polished blackstone bricks. Polished blackstone brick stairs. Acacia wood planks. Acacia wood slabs. And acacia wood stairs. We're going to start with the funner part, which neither of them are fun. You want to take the top smooth course block or brick block, and you want to place a polished black stone brick on top of each. Um, I'm starting with this because I hate the letters and want to save them for last. If you've seen uh, my tutorial, if you've seen my restaurant tutorials, you, you know how much I hate them. It's just, I just, I don't know why, I just hate them. I hate explaining them. It's so much work. Because, like, my brain cells are like, yeah, okay, I know how to do this. I've done these a million times. Because that never changes. I think that's the big thing, like, with the light pattern, too. It's always the same, and it's like, after a while, it gets repetitive, you know, repeating how to do it again over and over. Uh, so it's kind of fun to joke about, though. Uh, but yeah, that should give you something sort of like this, or exactly like this, depending on, uh, your 
tastes or uh, choices. What you then want to do is you want to fill in each individual roof with polished black stone brick at the level of the roof. Or you could do, um, what was it that I did in the top city? Oh, I just did it. White wool. That's what I did. I wouldn't actually recommend that. I recommend slabs of some sort. Probably not smooth quartz. Some, like, light gray or white slabs. Smooth stone might be a good idea. Smooth stone slabs. And then you would have to bring some things around and figure it out, but it's okay. Uh, what was I gonna say about that? Yeah, roofs in real life, I talked about it in the, again, the Let's Build a City episode. I don't know what they're made of. It's like insulation or something. I don't, it's probably not insulation. I'm probably completely wrong. Um, that's not something I want, I feel like looking up. So, uh, but it's like, it's some weird and it's like a light grayish or white color usually, typically. I'm not positive. I don't know. I don't like look at roofs of big stores and restaurants that often restaurants i think it's more likely to be a smooth stony color rather than grocery stores and stuff i don't know if it makes a difference i don't know if there is a difference also like you could add something like i don't know two iron bars or maybe not iron bars Ooh, hello hello cool Pretty sure a row just disintegrated in front of my eyes. That's fine. I feel like my game's gonna crash. That was very laggy. Ah, uh, what was I saying? Mmm, train of thought gone. But, like, you could do, like, two cobblestone walls, two uh, fences of some sort, or iron bars, or whatever, and add it. Act as a smoke pipe. Those, they do have those, although I'd actually recommend waiting for that so you can match it up with the kitchen. I forget what I saw that had that. It was some fast food restaurant that I noticed. Was it a McDonald's? It might, I don't know. That's just a random guess. I genuinely don't remember because it was like in a place. It's in a place I know well. And I just remember seeing it. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Or maybe it wasn't even a fast food restaurant. Maybe it was just a restaurant. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's not important. I'm just going to like. I don't think. No, it probably wasn't a McDonald's. McDonald's, maybe? I don't know. Not important. Uh, what you then want to do is you want to wrap your polished black stone bricks in ups and on polished black stone bricks. There's that each individual level. We're doing this uh, after the filling in because it's just easier that way. Just so we're not running into things when we're trying to fill in the roof. And instead we're running into things when we're trying to add the trim to the roof. Uh, it's not it's not that bad though. The trim is um, an easier part, and also, like, because, like, this, this is really the reason that I did it, and you'd have to find a way to place those blocks, which is annoying, and it's easier if you don't have a block on on top of it, preferably. Um, and at the back, I would not, or I would have the divot, regardless if you have it on the bottom or not. Um, like that, you see, kind of goes in a little bit. But I, uh, I, I hate that, though, like, what I was thinking about earlier, like, it's just, you... You, like, think of something, and you're like, hmm, is that how that works? Or not that. It's like, you f slightly remember something, and then you forget it, and then you're like, wait, what was I saying? That's actually worse. Whenever you want to tell someone something, and then you forget it, like, right when you're going to go tell them, and it's like, yup. <laughs> Worst thing ever. Anyways, uh, we're getting very off topic here, but it's okay, because we haven't, woo, what in the okay, that's, like, would confuse me. Because it was my, okay, never mind, moving on. Uh, the Instagram is weird. What you want to do is you want to take the bottom left-hand corner of this big old rectangle of smooth quartz. By the way, I'm really, you should join my Discord. I don't even care about Instagram. I just check Discord more. And from this bottom left-hand corner, you want to go up diagonally to the right. By one and going up, you want to place three acacia wood planks. Bring that top block right with an upside-down slab and then a stair facing right. Bring that stair down with an upside-down stair facing right and then left with a normal slab. There is your P. This is another reason that made it bigger. The P's are different, and what this is the other thing. The Y is different, but it didn't make the difference. It didn't change the difference. But the P's look way better, in my opinion, this way. Um, so, yeah, what you want to do is you want to leave a one block out from the top of that, and you want to place an acacia wood stair facing left. Bring it right with a plank, and then a stair facing right. Bring your stair down with a block, and then an upside down stair facing in the same direction as the stairs above them. So either left or right, and then place a plank in between the two upside down stairs. There you have an O. Now, if you remembered how to make your P, which we did about 20 seconds ago, you want to make another one. Come to the bottom, and you want to leave a one block gap from the bottom of the O, and you want to place three planks moving up. Top block right with an upside down slab, and then a normal stair facing right. Bring that stair down with an upside down stair facing right, and then left with a slab. Pop. 
perfect popcorn could be popcorn could be Popeyes could be just pop I don't know poppers that's a what is that poppers a candy I don't know I've heard that and I don't know what it is now that's gonna now that's gonna annoy me too fantastic uh, what you want to do is you want to leave a one black gap from the top of that and you want to place an upside down acacia wood stair facing right and then a stair to the right of that facing left upside down stair I should say you want to essentially copy that moving down, except you want to make them normal right side upstairs instead of upside down. So you have a smaller O. It looks like a degree symbol. Pop degrees. That's my favorite temperature. And you want to bring the left stair down with an additional stair facing right, and then bring that stair right with a slab. Pope. Perfect. Um, then what you're going to want to do is you want to leave a two block half and bottom of that, and you want to place a... Acacia wood plank and bring it up by one. I like forgot how to speak for a second there. Bring that block left and right with an upside down slab, then bring either slab up with a plank. Now it says p poppy or poppy, not not poppy. Poppy's a flower, and that is that would make that a pea. More more peas, fantastic. Peas in a pod. Uh, what you want to do is if you remember how to make your e, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So come to the top of your y, and you want to leave a one block gap. Moving right, and you want to place an upside down stair facing right. Bring that right with an upside down stair facing left. Bring that down with its with. Bring each stair down with its uh reverse stair via the or uh, based on the ups and downs. So it's, uh, that was a terrible explanation. Essentially, just bring your uh, uh your left stair down with two normal acacia wood stairs facing right, and then bring your right one down with a normal acacia wood stair facing left, and then a normal slab, so it's going to give you a little bit of a gap. But that should give you that. That's probably an easier way to do that, or a dumber way. I don't know. Now, leave a one block gap from bottom of that. We're kind of weaving in and out on this. And you want to place an acacia wood slab. Bring it left with a stair facing... Right with a stair facing left, sorry. Then bring that up with an upside down stair facing left. Left with an upside down slab. Up with an upside down stair facing right, and then right with an upside down slab. One shoot, there you go. That is Popeyes spelled out. And once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that has your remake Popeyes exterior complete. Although the other one didn't have an interior. I'm actually sure the old one real quick. I'm not sure at the beginning. Let me know which one you guys like better. Uh, I definitely like the new one better. Old one wasn't actually that bad, honestly. It was just weird. It's like, I think the old one is more like vintage. It gives, like, it's more like. I think it screams Popeyes more, but it's more of like an older design. Everyone now is going to the modern look, which I like it, but I think if we keep going this way, there's going to be a point where everything's going to just be like plain gray, white, black buildings like this with like little splashes of color, which I think is good. It makes the color pop more, but also like, I don't know. I don't like that. I think everyone going modern is a little bit interesting, but as long as I think they keep their colors and their builds somehow, I think it'll be okay. Although... I don't know, I'm not an architect, I wouldn't know, so, um, yeah. But thank you guys, so sure if you guys did enjoy this video, have a fantastic dinner, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.